Bruce, here we go. I got this, I got this. Hey guys, welcome to StoneCoatCountertops.com. Catherine, we are live. We are so excited to be here. Thanks for joining us. How's everybody doing tonight? We hope you're doing good. We really appreciate you guys tuning in for our second live episode. Mitch, how are you doing tonight, bud? Doing really good. Happy to be here. These are so much fun to do. We, we're curious, how is this time working for our audience? Does this time work for you guys? We're thinking about going live Tuesdays, as many Tuesdays every week as we possibly can. Let us know in the comments if that works for you. We'd really appreciate it. We got some big news, right? Super big news. I'm so excited. I've been waiting and we're ready. We are. We've been testing and trying and we got some colors to introduce and we're actually going to bring out some su surprises during these lives. But tonight we got a fun project, right? Um, Mitch, are you excited for tonight? I am excited. This is awesome. So when we went out to Dallas and we worked with Artists Till Death, Erica and Jess, uh, um, Erica and Jeff, um, they, I'm sorry, Thornton, he likes to be called Thornton, he's the man. <laughs> I keep typing Jeff, so my bad Jeff, sorry about that. <laughs> Erica, you and I, we're good friends. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we did a dirty pour and we did a small piece, uh, Erica crushed it, it was totally awesome, and today we are going to do a large countertop dirty pour galore right now it's going to be it's going to be a big piece um and what we're going to do is we're actually going to use some some beautiful colors and i, and I think that's key is you want to use beautiful colors and you could basically turn anything into a countertop when that's what you do right we chose some really beautiful ones i'm really excited to show you guys i'm really excited to show them okay let's do it. all right let's, let's do, do it. it all right so what we're going to do is we're going to use our white base tint and we're gonna first put a skim coat, a very thin coat, about one ounce per square foot on this top. And then we're gonna use three metallics. We got, uh, we got our, is it okay if I go over here, Mitch? Yeah, totally. All right, we got our blue earth, we got our bright silver, and we got our ocean blue. But here's what we're gonna do tonight. Okay, we got a new color and we want some help. Look at this blue. So we got our ocean blue, which is super vibrant. It's really easy to turn that over so they can see the difference. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So this one's our ocean blue, and here's our new blue. And we're gonna temporarily carry this blue unless it's really popular. We love it and we're excited to introduce it, but we need help. Uh, we're gonna need some help um, naming that color. So in your comments, let us know what we should name that color and let us know if you like it and if we should carry this. But we're gonna temporarily carry this in our, in our store. So let us know in the comments below the name and, and if you like it. And also, because it's our first week doing this, uh, we're gonna introduce another color. You wanna show them? Yes, I'm gonna show it because this is my favorite color. So I love this color. Do you see, Mitch, can you see oh, yeah. that one really good? Great. So I love it and I am gonna, be real quiet and let you guys decide to name it. So make sure that you guys do. Do you want me to leave it here, Mitch? Yeah, you're good. We're okay, set so it. I'm gonna leave these. These are our new two colors. We're gonna put them next to each other. If you want us to carry these full time, you're gonna have to help us name them and you're gonna have to tell us that you like them. So make sure that you, you pick these out. We're gonna take, I'm gonna take the ocean blue. Look at, see how pretty that is, but I'm gonna take it, put it away. Mike, what? Um, make sure that before we get started and get sticky, we have a huge, there's another big announcement tonight. Oh yes, this is fun. So Mitch, do you want to show what Ryan Day has been up to? Ryan doesn't know we're doing this. We, we sent him a little message that said tune in, but man, show him what he's doing. So Ryan Day is a member of our Stone Coat Countertops Insiders on our Facebook group. And he is doing a real good job engaging with everybody, answering questions, sharing his amazing work. Uh, I'm sharing with everybody here his picture we chose. And take a quick look at his Facebook page real quick. Look at some of that stuff he does. It's just absolutely amazing. So Go back to that coffee table. Yeah. Can you show him that We're coffee there. table? We're there. So Mitch showed me Ryan Day's work. And everybody who's on our uh, Stone Coat Countertop Insiders, Awesome job. You guys are really collaborating and sharing and growing and, and teaching each other. And that's the whole point of that group. So if you haven't uh, become a member of our insiders group, the link is below in the uh, comments. And you could just click that and Mitch will approve you and get you on that group. All right, Mitch, I'm going to show 
Well, the very first, go ahead. Okay, so we have been trying to figure out ways for months. We, we are so excited. We love that you're sharing. We love that you send us your pictures. I gotta tell them though. I gotta well, tell just you. give me a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. So we love <laughs> that you guys do that. Mitch and I love reading your guys' stories and we love seeing your pictures. I am so excited. The new insiders group is so much fun. And Mike and I are pretty competitive. I think that if you tuned in last time, you'll kind of see a little bit of that competitive nature in us. And so we decided to do something that would it motivate us. So totally. we so hope that it motivates you too. I'm a youth wrestling coach. Many of you know that. I coach, I coach a local middle school here in wrestling. My sons are all wrestlers. And when you win in wrestling, what do you get, Mitch? Metal. You get a medal, man. And so we had some custom medals made. Mitch, I'm going to show this camera right here. This is our Stone Coat Countertops You Got This Award. And we are so excited. Ryan Day, you are the very first recipient of the Stone Coat Countertops You Got This Award. I'm even going to put it on for him. I'll model it. Actually, honey, you model it. Okay. You model it. Well, I mean, not like we're up close or anything, but look at look at that. There we go. Up close. You you. Oh, that's right. Our new. Our All right. So stand still. Show them. Show them that. You got this. You got Woo! this award. So give it up for Ryan Day, man. We're Good so job. For Good you. job. So guys, get on that Facebook uh, uh, Insiders group with Stone Coat Countertops. Check it out and let's get started. You ready to have some fun? I'm so excited. I've been waiting, waiting, waiting to do this project. All right, so we've already sanded this. We've wiped the dust. This is our natural gray paint and primer in one, two coats over MDF. We have a rounded top edge and a rounded bottom edge to help the epoxy flow. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to mix up one ounce per square foot and add our white base tint, give it a skim coat, and then it's time for the dirty pour. I'm so excited. We're going to flip gonna and drag. So We're going to do a flip and drag with this big boy. Boom! And just drag it out. So here we go. Are you ready? This is art like, what is the right word? Art like, on steroids. Art on steroids, right. yes. We're going to learn how to dominate this piece of yes. the countertop. We're excited. All right, honey, make sure we answer any questions that are okay. coming through. I'll get this mixed, and then you're going to help me mix all these colors. All right. Oh, everybody's giving Ryan props. I'm so excited for that. That's great. He nice did a job, great Ryan. job. We're so excited for you. That is great. we got to get that metal out of here. It'll get sticky. I actually already hung it, so Ryan, nice. you, I, I made sure that I wasn't going to lean in and get your first uh, award sticky. Mitch, do you have any questions that you saved in, as I kind of scroll? We are getting tons of... Uh, Color names. They're already wanting to name this. Oh, Jamaican great. Way, I'm so glad. Hey, green. Can I say something real quick? That blue. <laughs> that blue. It, are, are, are artists till death on right now? The, I think some of them. A lot of folks are, are commenting that they're here. Yay. ATD sent them this way. So thanks. Thank, thank you, ATD. That, guys. Artists till death. Awesome. Go check them out if you guys haven't seen them yet. Their channel is very, very enlightening. They do an amazing job. Awesome. Oh, I also want to give a shout to my awesome team. I have people that are here that are um, already answering questions. So even if you don't see me typing away, we've got Corrine. And I want to give her a special shout. Can I just tell you, Corrine is, I, I don't know if I've talked about her enough, but she is the hug for me in Surfing Countertops. And today, oh, I'm getting emotional. I'm sorry. <laughs> but today is her birthday, and she is so excited to be with you guys that she stayed extra tonight. And that just... Happy Just birthday, Kareem. We love you, Kareem. It's so Kareen. special. She's awesome. And Val is staying here tonight. We're so grateful for him. And Thank Cody you, is tuning in. She had to go home to her babies, but she's tuning in at home to help answer your questions. So make sure that you know you got support here. Mitch and I are going to answer questions. Mike's going to answer questions. We want you to make sure that you are getting the attention you need. So you just keep them coming, and we'll get to them as fast as we can. Okay, guys? All right. All oh. right. White base tent. Woo -woo. And remember those squeegees I told you to get? Yes. That's what we're about to use. Nice. Do you want to clean those off the table? I totally will. Well. Yes. I'll get started with that. Okay, I'm going to move that ocean plate out of there. Oh, guys, if, you, uh, if you're logging in and you're appreciating what you see so far, give us a thumbs up. Crush that thumbs up button. That helps us out. Thank you, guys. Oh, they love all those names. All right. Uh, We have a great question here, and it's uh, Joseph Jackson. How important is the quality of the spray paint? He said what? How important is the quality of the spray paint? You want to answer that, Mitch? Yeah, so the, the spray paint really 
We've tested a ton of uh, spray paints out there, and what works best with our epoxy is Rust-Oleum line. Most all of them, minus the glitter line, really. Uh, it, it's compatible with our epoxy. It's just something about it. It works very good. You want to stay away from Prylon. Um, that something in the propellant there, and it gums up. It's it's not the best with the epoxy. So stick with that Rust-Oleum line, and you'll be happy you did. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally true. I like that, and. Uh, just make sure you're always doing a top coat, a clear coat over your counter and your work surfaces, your hearths, your showers, shower panels, that kind of thing. Do a top coat. If you're doing art, top coat isn't necessary because you're not putting hot pans on it. You're not walking on it, that kind of thing. So I'm just pouring out this, uh, this white tinted epoxy as our base and then we're going to squeegee it out. Awesome. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm watching some of our video feed and I look a little silly because I keep looking up to this other camera and I'm, it's not where I'm supposed to be looking. So I apologize. I will get better. <laughs> All right, here we go. See how, see how thin that is? All right. Do you want to do this? Yeah. All right, go for it. Totally do. Yeah, party cam. Party cam. Nice. All right. All right, Paradise Blue. Ooh, that's a cool name, man. Yeah, I liked that one. I, that was a couple of suggestions. I liked that. People Jam and Wave for the blue green. I like that. Ooh, that's cool. Very cool. Man. So we have Jen asking if Rustoleum 2X paint and primer is okay, and that is definitely okay. That's a great line. We uh, every single color pretty much in the 2X works great. Yeah. The uh, the satin line you want to. Uh, integrate that real well with the paint stick. It likes to float on top, but it's compatible. It works great. Yeah, I see the comments about Ryan on there, and yeah, he is. He's doing amazing. His work is outstanding. Great job. Keep it up, and uh, we appreciate your support, Ryan. Uh, we don't know each other, but hopefully we will get to know each other better now, and you earned the You Got This Award, man. Right on. Yeah. Wow, this is good job, honey. You're doing great. Well, I, and it's I, like I've done this before. I like how uh, you can kind of see through into the gray too. That I will really actually do. right now it looks a little funny, but that does a cool element. You, you know? know, we have we have so many people that like different things, and the thing that I love about the what we create is that you can build on it. You know, we do lots of our projects all in one night, but if you didn't want to, let's say you wanted this to be your base, you could walk right. You know, this could be a great undertone. Let it set up for a little while, or even overnight, and then come and build on top of that. So. This is kind of a neat thing. I've had lots of people that ask me for different styles, and I think this is one that they could get behind, you know, and like it. So I'm excited to see all these colors come to life on this. So on this particular color, we used one ounce per square foot on the on the skin coat, and we're going to use three ounces per square foot on this color flood coat right now. And this takes just you you want this to be able to slip and slide on itself. That's why. We're going to go ahead and do it this way. So this is just the same amount that you would use like in a seal coat for a piece of wood that we were doing. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Right. I know we have some amazing wood, wood people that use our, our project and beautiful wood projects and we love seeing those too. We want to say thank you to all the pictures and the feedback and everything that we get um, from you guys. It's, it's awesome. We, we love seeing your projects. Continue to send those guys. We appreciate it. The best get, part of our day. All these names are coming up with. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah. awesome. So right. what you want to do is take your gloved hand. Um, where's that do dirty cup of? Yeah, just just kind of saturate your hand, and then you want to switch your gloves out. Okay. Oh. And you and you yeah. You go the front yeah, totally. Just just get everything wet. When you get the the edges wet, the epoxy will flow nice for you too. And sanding is important. If you have rough edges, it creates surface tension and won't want to flow real perfect for you. Are you having fun? You love this, don't you? I love it. I will tell you, mine is super about the gloved hand. And if this was, if I would have realized, I probably would have gone and gotten a brush. That's totally unnecessary, but I like a little cleaner way to do it. Yeah, so brush works. It's just if you already have your brush. Um, already primed that, that works really good too so. and you you know on this technique we don't use a brush so you gotta you gotta mix very well really uh, well. because you're not going to chop it oh. um so make sure you mix it really good Steve yeah. Bailey is asking hey guys why no green Steve, which one uh he's asking why no green why no green that's cool <laughs> why 
Okay, I like it. Is that the name of the green? No, I think he's, he's asking why, why don't we don't have any green in it? But he just needs to stay tuned for the upcoming. Wino yeah, episode. stay tuned, my friend. Stay, I thought it was like wino, like a wino. Oh, I, I didn't. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, Carl Jacobson. Did you guys see Carl Jacobson? His channel is amazing. He came out here to do a project with us. It came out awesome. We just put it up a couple days ago. And again, Carl, thanks for coming out here to our oh. shop. And we look forward to seeing that in your mobile workshop. Did you oh, see his workshop? I did. It was so amazing. Um, one of the other things uh, I, I love to see, did you see that um, the thing that he had in there about Carl? Yes, the I put that on the video. It yeah. was so beautiful. Um, I also talked to Marcy, who is Mixed Media Girl. Today, she did a countertop. If you go to her Instagram feed, just look her up, Mixed Media Girl. She put up the teaser for the new video she's gonna do. It is amazing. She used our epoxy? She used our epoxy, but guess what? The customer requested something totally different than sometimes what we do, and they wanted more of a sea theme, and so she did sand, and then it looked like waves integrated. It was beautiful. I'm so excited to see her video, so I'm gonna give her a little shout. What, what, Marcy? It's nice to see you again. And we had a great time talking. She's in San Francisco right now shooting something else, and we are really excited. She's gonna come and do a collab with us probably sometime in September, so we're really excited to see her here, too. You, you know what I love about YouTube is it lets it lets small business become known nationally, which we totally appreciate. Uh, we're about to hit a big mark. Uh, I am thanks to you guys. We're about to hit 100,000 subscribers. We work so hard all the time to get better content more frequently, better audio, better equipment. We're always trying, and, and we got there because you guys helped us. We didn't know anything about making a video. We just we just we're, we're contractors, contractors, right? <laughs> right. So, so thank you guys for helping us grow. Continue to share it. And because we're about to hit 100,000 subscribers, you will not want to miss our 100,000 subscriber party. That's going to be a so cool fun. video, right? It will be so much fun. Are we going to do it live? You want to do that live? I I don't know. Yeah. Are, but I was hoping that it would be... Yeah. Is the blooper reel going to be ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I would have to bleep out some of those words. <laughs> We're going to be so excited jumping up and down like this. That's going to be pretty much the excitement of that. Uh, Tomorrow, we should be hitting that by the end of this week, so I don't know how we do that live. Let us know in the comments below if you're ready for the blooper reel. <laughs> that is a good one. Actually. When Catherine and I were doing these videos in the winter time before my shop was insulated, we, uh, we did a lot of these in our living room, and we may or may not have almost lit our house on fire, uh, so just let's be, be, be really clear. Be who, who almost lit our house on fire? You. Because it wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. The blooper reel will reveal. Okay. Right. I got a good question here. Richard, how would you get rid of the air bubbles? How Would you just use a glove and hand to remove them or would you use a brush? Oh, the air bubbles are, are all removed by our torch. So we use a propane torch with just a normal torch head. This is sticky from my last project but that's what we use right there and we'll show you in this pit in this project exactly how easy those come out cool all right do you need me to start mixing colors yeah, in totally. i'm so excited let's okay. do this you know I, I wish we would have grabbed erica's sticks because i really liked those when we oh, used those yes. uh hold on um i yeah you know how much to pour in and then we got uh, another stick for everyone right so are we leaving some in clear What's happening? No, I kind of wanted to even these out a little bit more. And we're not leaving any in clear. No, we're going to okay. do color and everything. Okay. Do you want to put some white base color tips yeah, in there? Yeah, totally. That's, so we'll just leave. Move that big bucket. Woo! Like that? Yep. Cool. Here's our new blue. Now we got a nice shot. That's fine. That. That's good. Okay. That's way good. Good job. I want it to pop. Oh, it'll pop. You don't I need a lot. <laughs> I want it to pop. Mitch, how much fun did we have testing these metallics? We had a lot of fun. They are pretty. Yeah. Boy, this is a beautiful color. I am so excited. There's our new unnamed color. I don't know what we're going to call it for tonight. We should call it something for just a temporary. Maybe we should just call them like our blue and teal just for tonight. And then you guys can name it officially. What do you think? Oh my gosh. Look at how cool that is. That's so beautiful. That's going to be cool. 
You know, sometimes if you add a little bit, it almost leaves it somewhat transparent. This is ready yeah. to go too. Yeah. All right, my friend. Oh, that is popping. That blue is popping. I thought ocean blue was vibrant. Nope. <laughs> I can't wait to do a wood project with that one. I know, it could be so cool. Whoa. All right. And then here you go ahead. Oh, you want that one? Okay, I'll hit the silver. Which I like this one? color palette. Huh? Oh, this is bluer. Wayne Allen asked, does that blue glow in a black light? And that blue, this blue doesn't, but again, stay tuned to some stay live. Stay tuned. Look We've out. got some exciting stuff coming here we at Stone really, Coat Countertops. We would really encourage you guys to, um, Mike and Mitch and I spent a lot of time using our basic color palette and creating colors that are perfect for us. So, you know, if we don't, if we want to make something a little lighter or shimmer or whatever, we, we can do that together. Mix those colors until you're happy with them and then use them in your project. So go back to kindergarten and get, get cracking. It's fun. One thing I like about, uh, we've had a lot of interest from the art community, which we totally appreciate. And it's really opened our eyes to, you know, what you can do with these wild colors. A lot of times in your, in your countertops, you're not gonna have um, super, super wild colors but some you may want that and in and, and art or, or, or you're matching a certain uh, decor or, or even a, uh, you know, a, a showroom or a bar or anything, just a man cave, you know, there's so many elements that you could have some fun color. You know? I wanted to tell you, I was looking over um, one of our emails that we got last week. I think it was in an email, maybe it was on the Facebook Insider group. One of our customers did a countertop, and guess what they how they did it? I mm. loved it. It was a solar system. Oh. The whole top was different planets and stars, and it had all. It was so rad on this amazing top, and so I love how creative people are getting. They're not just staying inside that box; that they're really creating pieces of art for their home that they love and enjoy. So I love that. All right. The uh, the key here is I'm gonna do half a cup. Okay. Oh, this isn't the bucket. I want an empty bucket. There's okay, a, I got a quick good question here. Yeah. Uh, there. One Robin is wondering if the new blue is a pearl or just a metallic. It's a vibrant metallic, but right. again, we got some pearls on the way. Well, they're here. We're just not going to release them one time, one one per week. Uh, we don't want to overwhelm you, and we're going to test them, see if if you guys if they're popular, and if they are, we'll make them permanent. Okay, Mitch, we're going to um. We're gonna add one color at a time. We're gonna start with half a cup. Why don't you, you wanna pour them in? Why don't just pick the order. You want. Yeah. Pick the order. Which one do you wanna start with? Cause that'll be coming out last, but they're all gonna mix in this dirty cup, right? Oh, good night. So if you start the, the way you start at the bottom, it's gonna be the most yeah, prevalent maybe? Not, necess nah, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Once you flip it, it's Okay, yeah. so let's start with our blue. All right. I'm excited to start that way. Boom. Okay, and let's put in silver. Okay, silver. And then white. Good job. You want to do a couple metallics and then a base. Good. All right. And then green. Oh, is that it's not named green. Oh, whatever our tealish <laughs> color is. And then our earth. Blue earth. Blue earth. Okay. Okay. And do we do it again? Yeah. Just like that? Yeah, okay. but not we just did blue earth, so let's jump to a different one. Okay, let's do the white again. Okay. It's kind of separated a tiny quick bit. Okay. And then we'll do blue again. I'm about symmetry, so sometimes I get in orders. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then, what did you just put in? Everything. I don't um, know. You don't know what, where it's you're at. It's going. Oh, the whole thing. Okay. Yep, we're, we're going for this. Go. Okay, here's our not unnamed teal color. Oh, that is like candy. Do you want, okay, let's do more silver. And let me look. This is so going to be pretty. Far, it's going to be a pretty, really it's going to be a pretty counter. Do you want to put it, yep, this is going to be neat. And then the white. Watch this. Do you want to do the white? Oh, just <laughs> that's tight. All right, and then a little bit more blue. white. Love and do you want to just? No, these we're off? ready. Okay. Can I drag across like you did? That was well, cool. here's what we gotta do. Let's scoot these things over. And okay. This is the scary part: is just flipping this big, big boy. I'm gonna you, let you, you do it, and I'm gonna back up a little bit. Okay. So because you tend to make a mess sometimes. All right, we're gonna need that drill too. Okay. So I'm gonna flip, Mitch. Are you ready? All right, let's is, count it down. Is the, <laughs> three. Two, Two, one, go! Now that's oh, live okay. right there. <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay. All right, let's drill it. Oops. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, go sorry. ahead. Okay. 
It doesn't matter where? Yep. Good. Nice. Okay. So now Eric can get through, right? Right. Here we go. So okay. we're just going to do long strokes, back and forth. Okay. Um, I'll do half, you do half. Great. All right. And, and I'm not going to let it up much. We just a little bit enough so it doesn't stick too yeah, much. That's why we put that white down. Look at that. Look, Catherine. That's look at so that. cool. Look this at it. Good. It's doing all the work for you. Well, it, it'll move and meld and we're going to use heat and we, we may even... Look at those colors that are already... I don't know. I, it's kind of wanting to come out. So do you mind if I just rock this? Just You go for it. It's all right. I won't, I won't have an ego this week. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look like the, like for a beach house. Can or I something. change my mind? Yeah, I, go I, for I, it. I wanna play. Okay, go for it. cool. Oh, see how much you're oh, wrong? You gotta drag. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, look at that color. This is gonna be beautiful. Give me some shout outs so he doesn't get mad at me, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa, I love those cells it's creating. Do I, can I go anywhere? Yeah, but see how you're pushing too hard because you're moving it all off? Oh, you got to kind of, the pressure's important. It's a little bit of practice. This I is may, why we're doing I may or may not have practiced a little bit today before we started. And with the big Good cup, I think that that's, that's the big thing is it's different oh, pressure for the big cups versus the little cups. Look at that. Look at how neat that looks. Oh, look at these cells over here. I this is so gonna... pretty. Woo! Go, yeah, don't don't drag it off. And, and try not to go over everything more. I don't know. What are we going to do? Are we good? Yeah. Maybe I good. go this way? Yeah. Okay. Just over mixing it tends to... Do you want me to just stop? Should I just pull it up? Yeah, pull it up. Okay, we're done. Yeah, cool. Oh, we were done. Cool, cool. <laughs> Look at, see how bright blue that is? Now, what I think we're going to do is okay. I'm just going to... Do you want to try that? What do you want to do? <gasps> I'm so I excited. Think, I think what we do is torch it and then we'll move it. We'll okay. move this big board. I love that. I would watch your hair. Yeah. Okay, so this is a tip for the ladies. Do you see how my hair is back? It's supposed to be back warm, but when I pour, usually I tuck it into my shirt. So make sure you do that. Okay, I'm just warming this up so it's going to flow really good for us. Yeah, but look at what happens with that blue that underneath it. It just wants to come up and be really, really cool. Okay. Wow. So now we're going to we're going to do a giant tilt and build. Uh, one thing you got to keep in mind is if you're doing this on your existing counters, you wouldn't be able to tilt them, obviously. You could use that sponge and push it around, but I want to kind of let gravity... Or squeegee, I guess, but you... All right. Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't do it there because your computer... Would you you know what? Maybe maybe we should just use a squeegee so we don't... Do you want to try yeah, it? let's try that. Okay. That. I might be screwing it up. Are you good with that, Mitch? This is what happens in life. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going to squeegee this. I'll do half, you do half. And okay. I'm, and I'm just going to do very light pressure. I've noticed that when you do the half, I'm the one that gets to look like I messed it up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That'll be great. Yeah, I agree. I, I like, think that looks really it, it, cool. It's, it's kind of, see how it's bald there? I'm gonna, yeah. It's kind of, it brings all the color back, but I think it'll separate it. I think, yeah, I think you're right. I think especially when you get that torch out. I'm missing some color right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this is, is going to be cool. And I like that we're using the squeegee just because the people that are doing it in their countertops can understand how to do the control. I like it too. I think that's good. Because we, you know, we will make a giant mess trying to lift this thing around. Yeah. I'm just kind of... You would have felt more comfortable doing that with Mitch. I'm going to just be honest. No, I just think we would have made our computer kind of sticky. Yeah. Mitch, any good questions coming through? Sorry, I've been watching too much. Uh, <laughs> is, it, is it looking good, man? It's looking cool. All right. Okay, I want to get my hands that? on. Is that good? Yes. That's cool. This is a tough one that we can't just do sides because, boy, you know, it's crazy. Do you see how it balls up? I love that you barely, you don't really want to put much pressure down, huh, Mike? No, no. And you, you see how where it's bald, we just got to, and then I wouldn't sure. do horseshoes. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Totally. Because it'll show a man-made stroke. Totally. Oh, more like sediment style we want to do. You're right. Right. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. Look at that. Look at that. I like okay. that natural. I think uh, hopefully that comes back. Okay. Well, we'll see, right? I'm going to just kind of take it all the way to the. People are, People are saying tilt? Yeah. But is this a delayed tilt or? Yes, you still want me to tilt. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. I like that this edge is still kind of white. What do you think? Do you want me to put it all the way over? Uh, I don't think so. I, I leave some of that space. I think that like it kind of like makes it special that way, don't you think? 
Yeah, we just got to get epoxy on everything. We may need to. We may need to do that, honey. We may need to. Mean, mean, mean yeah, to don't tell? don't over trowel it. You'll probably regret it later. It'll just make it all okay. the same color all together. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Here, I'll go. I'll go do that front side. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna here. You want to do it? No. Okay. I'm gonna. Uh, no, no. I'm I just fine. there's not enough epoxy on this end. Totally. Okay. Cool. Oh yeah. See I see. What I mean? You did put a little bit more pressure than I was doing. J just a little bit on that. Yeah. That's and, cool. Okay. And I'm gonna bring some right here. Just fill that in. All right. Let's get those torches out, yeah. and we're gonna. Uh, let's go. So this will pop the bubbles, like the like the man was saying. Um, and then hopefully this will spread that color out. A you want me to hedge yours, and I'm gonna do my side, or what? This is gonna be pretty. Oh wow! Look, it's starting to kind of pull it forward. Try using an airbrush without paint or just for directional control of air pressure to move epoxy. We've seen Christina Welch right. do that on her channel and it looks really cool. That's a great idea, especially on smaller pieces. Um, but no, that's that's a really cool idea. When you're using your torch, you really want to make sure that you keep it moving, keep it flowing. I like look, it does it is separating. Yeah, That's coming well. through. That looks good. Yeah, I think that you should use those extra little, little things. Yeah. I think that'll help bring out some of that color. I like that, Mike. That's great. Definitely. Yeah, you want to move that torch real quick. Yeah, get that out of the way. I like that because then you can kind of pick up those other things. Chris asks, what is the met metallic ratio in the alcohol spray? So we, uh, we sell our metallics in bags, and it's half a bag of metallic powder to eight ounces of 91% isopropyl alcohol. Right. You can use it a little uh, more concentrated if you, you want. Six or eight. Yeah. Yeah, you just don't want to have it clog your tip. Right. And be sure to shake that uh, mixture really well before spraying. You can plug up your uh, spray bottle. That looks cool putting right. those striations in there. And they do settle a little bit, so like when we have ours, um, like he said, you just always want to make sure to shake it up really good. Um, I'm really tempted to spray some on this piece, but I'm not going to. Did you mix things together? I'm going to layer a big like a bunch big. of them right here on each other. Okay. Just to see what we can get it to look like. This is such a beautiful blue. I really like that blue. It's like it's lit up with electricity. Right. I really like it. Mitch, is that showing up on <coughs> camera? It is. Bless, Bless you. you. Pardon me, sorry. So I'm just incorporating some of the color. I want this piece to be a little bit louder than it was. So we're just adding some more color here. And again, you just play with your piece until you like it. Now I'm gonna take my um, stick and drag it through these just to incorporate all this. You gonna put the white in there? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Right. I think I would probably even put that through as its own, just like you did with the blue. Okay, what let's see think? what this looks like if I do this and we're just gonna torch this together. All right. I think that'll be kind of neat. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that blue by itself. We should, probably should have just done that blue and just hit it with the paint stick. Mm -hmm. Okay. I really like that. This is really how you come up with new recipes and new designs is just playing with color, seeing what works. Oh, this is going to be neat. Yeah. 
just making that a little bit bigger and then we'll torch that out. I'll feather this vein out just into kind of into nothing so it doesn't look like it came out of nowhere. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I like that white in there a lot. I think we should do what you did with the blue and put the white. I think it would get some Just contrast. put more white through. Go ahead. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, well, I think I better do a stick. I'm going to torch this vein out. Right away. Yeah. You probably want to go faster because see how it's yeah. squiggly? I didn't want to hit you. I was just trying not to get in your way. I was like, oh, geez. We're still doing it. I'm still doing it. Sorry, guys. Let's use the torch to get that kind of melted uh, well, out a little bit. What we'll do is on those where it stays squiggly. Maybe just go through. Yeah, yeah. Just okay. take your stick and just make them unsquiggly. You know what I'm I, I'm going to own my stuff. I'm a little nervous. You can tell by my squiggly hands <laughs> when I was moving it. Don't be nervous. I'm a little nervous. Well, not to do the piece, just to be in front of all of you. Obviously, you're amazing. Mike's been uh, done, done it, the video. Look, look at, more than look I at I what that white's doing. I love that. See, so maybe with your more steady hands, maybe. Well, you could let's, let's just that. put a. Uh, let's just. Should we go in the center or do it over? I would do it away. From, what do you think? I don't know. I like this. Right, maybe right here. Fractured blue lines. Let's let's come like. We'll come between Maybe right two. here on the outside of this one. Okay. And then not in your pretty right, black shirt. I totally like that. So a cup can kind of let a little bit more out and go really totally. straight, right? Right, and right. Then Maybe the silver. What to get it to right? sell out like that, mm -hmm. you have to take your stick through it so it wants to, you force it to kind of mix with something else. Right. And then when you come back through that, see how I'm not like moving the stick in funny ways either? Right. Let the torch do that. Don't try to force it to move. Let the torch move it and let it sit on the thing. And it'll sell out for you. Look how it makes it almost transparent. Right. It's kind of a soft effect. That's light. pretty. I like it framed with. Oh, I want to add more white in there. That looks real good. How, how's that look on camera, Mitch? Is that cool? That's yeah. pretty, right? Maybe you do the. Really what about the silver if we did the silver on the other side? Just because we don't have very much of that silver in there. Nope. I shook. I shook. I'm gonna reserve my right Where to. At? I just think right here on the other side of that vein. Just okay. like, what do you think? Just a little I don't, bit. I don't know. You Let's don't want to? Ain't no. Ain't if no you thing. don't want to do it, don't do it. <laughs> oh, I like that. I think that's gonna look cool when you do the same idea. You know, one of my favorite colors that we're not doing spray paint tonight, but one of my favorite is chrome. And when you use that, it's a Rust-Oleum color. When you use it, it kind of gives it that same brilliant effect, but it, it comes sorry. in and out. Sorry. Um, um, it's just really brilliant and bright. It's beautiful color. Wow, that looks great. I like that. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put, a, I'm gonna actually put a little bit more white in it. Okay. Just kind of where that silver is. Yeah. Because I like framing it with that white. I do too. I think that silver will help frame the white too, just a little bit more. If we put black in this, it would make things pop, but um, I kind of like it soft. I think it, we need to have one that you can just see that you can keep it soft. We have a lot of people that really like that ocean theme, you know, that want to keep it light for their for different projects. And so I I'm, think I'm just so spreading this color out a little bit too. Just you don't want to yeah. keep it just concentrated in one area all the time. That looks the more white we put in that. Yeah, it's better. It's, it's popping looking. with that stone. I really like that a lot. It's just popping more. So all the other colors are still doing that, but the white's just showing it a little bit more. Want to finish torching that side? going to look in here. Let's look for anything that doesn't look natural. So I don't like, there's just, just a little bit of lacking over here with some epoxy. I think All we should right. make sure we put some over Let's there. Let's go put something over there. It's like a little bit of a dot. It's kind of weird. Oh, that's perfect. Leave it bright, just right on the edge. Almost like it's a, a yep, just like that. Spread it and then walk away almost. I like that a lot. Kind of frame that like, whoa, and then you kind of soften out. Just a little bit more. 
Maybe we should even put a little bit more white right yeah. next to it. Yeah. Think. Well, I don't think we leave it just on one one solid color there. We'll put a little bit more of something. Well, maybe we could pour a little bit near it and just let it kind of as it All we really have left is silver. Oh, what did you got? That's oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. It's nice to do more than one right color. Here. Yeah. Uh, because it looks more realistic when you do that. I think there's a little bit of a void right there. Do you, can you see? Because I can't quite tell. Perfect. I like that a lot. That's great. That's the problem with not troweling and chopping is you're not getting a super even finish, but that's what the second coat's for as well, right? Right. Totally is. Make sure you get all your edges. So. Oh, I like that we added color there. That looks better. Yeah, it looks real nice. What do you think, Mitch? I'm liking it. I'm what do you guys think? Do you think we're, we're good? I got a great comment here from Angie. She says this totally belongs in a beach house. And right. I'm with you. Totally. I agree. Mitch and I just took uh, 20 young men between 14 and 18 years old to uh, week-long rafting, hiking, swimming, uh, crazy adventure trip out in the woods. And we went to Crater Lake. And man, this reminds me, like this blue reminds me of Crater Lake. Ooh, it does. We need to do a tribute to Crater Lake Peace. I think we're, I, I think you took some footage so we can. <laughs> well, so, I would like to go and jump back in Crater Lake. I, you guys. Yes, yeah. it was. You guys had some amazing, amazing footage from that. That was. I'm going to so just fun. move these white stripes a little bit more just because Wait, I which think one? they're these. You want me to leave them? Yes. Okay. I'll Tell them, guys. <laughs> I love it. I think that looks like it's so friendly. Don't you think so? I like it. I, I, well, I like that because it kind of... It yeah, I'll torch that out a little bit there. We need to kind of break that little spot up a little bit. Go for it. Um, okay. I like that we added two colors there because now when you torch it, they, this looks pretty. I, I like, like it. it. I, I really like it. So it didn't do... Like when we when we did the, the uh, flip and drag, mm -hmm. it didn't do exactly what I thought it would do, which is key when you're working with epoxy. You, you really got to be open to whatever happens, right? But now if we wanted to reproduce this, we know, and you guys know, what it's gonna do. You, you know the color it's gonna show. And so I think that's key, and that's actually why we started filming ourselves is because we wanted to know when we when we hit a home run, how did we make that? Because we always did so many things. How, how do you make it when you're done? You know, last week is a good example of that. We had that piece, Mike introduced that new pendulum idea, and we really liked it. Lots of us really liked it. And then we went and we ragged the top of that, which we really love that technique. And I liked it better before we had done that. And so that was exactly, just exactly what we had learned from some of those other videos that we made was sometimes you go, you know, we have to work our way backwards and go, where did we like it the best? And that's how you can create those different pieces. So learning those recipes and getting those down is great. Thank you. Okay. All right, I'm going to torch this out one final time. Is there anything else you want to change on this, Catherine? I, I want to say something real quick about Michelle's comment on the blue, and she calls it, or somebody else may have sooner because she agrees, but Crater Lake Blue. Oh, that's pretty cool. Crater Lake Blue. If that you, might be a winner right there. If you don't know where that is, you guys should Google it. It's one of the best, beautiful, most beautiful places. If you're coming to Oregon, you definitely should go stop by Crater Isn't Lake. Isn't it amazing how, how, how well this class is out, even with all that crazy technique we did? Right. I know, not even chopping and torching. Alright. Alright. I think we're good. Right, Let's do, Mitch, do you got close-ups for him? Uh, I just pulled Crater Lake up here, and I think that is a winner. It matches almost perfectly. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Did you show everybody so they had the benefit? Perfect. All right, can you cool. see, Mitch, do you see this part on camera here? Yeah. So this is annoying me, just the hair, just because it looks like a footprint. Do you see that? A I, big toe. I, kind of I totally so, now that you say so it, but I'm, I did it before. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make it not a footprint, okay. just by doing a couple of touches, and then I'll torch it out, and then it'll be okay. Then I'm gonna. What I'll do is a touch and. Oh, you're doing it. You're doing it. Nice. Right there. Perfect. Now it doesn't look like a footprint. So that's <laughs> all I do. Is I just kind of look. 
what doesn't look natural to me, what's going to jump out, what can I not eat my bowl of cereal at during the morning breakfast, right? Our favorite <laughs> thing is to do that. So we love pieces that you can That's sit and get lost I like in. that. Good job torching it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other comments before we sign off? I want to find out, Mitch, does anybody have any, what about my favorite color, guys? What was your favorite choice for that one? Do we have any ideas for our new, today we're calling it teal, but it's not really teal? Yeah, this is like candy something. It's something neat. I don't wanna, know. You want to drink it? We'll get some pictures up on our Facebook yeah. and we'll, we'll put a poll out. We'll get some names going now. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining us on our second live episode we appreciate your support we have a great time doing this you're not so nervous anymore right i maybe wouldn't shake across the table today you're the, tomorrow you're the prettiest one in this room so you well got there nothing, we go nothing to worry about there we go i want to thank you guys for subscribing make sure if you haven't do it now we are we are really watching every day we are really wanting to get to our hundred thousand mark Yes. And so the faster we can do it, the faster we get to poverty. So make sure that you uh, like and subscribe it and share it so that other people know that we're out here and that we're sharing this content. We want it to get around. We want you guys to be able to create amazing pieces and interact with one another. So join our insider group. Make sure that you let us know if there's ideas that you have for us or questions that you have. Make sure to shoot it to us. Our customer service is here Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 on Pacific time. And we're always here to help you with your projects or ideas. So make sure you give us a holler. Look at this piece. I know. I love it. It's beautiful. You really let it sit and do its thing. Mm -hmm. Mitch, is this showing up on camera how cool it really looks? It, it is. It's pretty cool. I've been rolling through all the shots. Awesome. I like how this, awesome. this green here, it's all integrated. All right. We better sign off. All right. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, from Stone Cook Countertops, you, you got, got this. this. We'll see you guys soon. Good job. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again.